Hello and welcome to our Wednesday Wisdom interview with Independent Sales Director Sharon Strasberg. Sharon, thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to have you. Have you had a good day so far? Yes, it's been very interesting so far. <laughs> and I'm glad we're getting this Definitely. working. This is great. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for thank you for being our guest. Um so if you if you're, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and begin. And sure. I'd love to know what inspired you to join Mary Kay. Well, I went to a meeting and I met some of the directors there, and they were very impressive. And they told us all the um, the pluses of the Mary Kay business. And when they said uh, in Mary Kay, we put God first, we put family second, we put career third. That really stuck with me. And I said, I'm not sure God wants us to be rich, but I'm going to check this out and see if it's something I want to do. And as it turned out, it's not about the rich unless you count the richness in the products and the the, um, the friendships. Then it is a very rich company for me. So I've enjoyed it. That's that's wonderful, um, and that's a great that's a great inspiration story. Um, what is, what is yeah. your favorite Mary Kay product? Um, difficult to say, but I think right now it used to be uh, all free eye makeup remover and um, and lash intensity. But now I think I'm going towards the 3D products. I use those uh, yeah. combined with the the Tom Wise Repair products, and I love the fact that um, Mary Kay has made them compatible. So I really love that new 3D. Fantastic. Um, so as an independent beauty consultant, what were your goals and how have they changed as your business has grown? Um, my goals, I think, were to uh, build a team. Uh, not right at first. I was a little hesitant, but uh, I realized by not telling people what I did and, that, and encouraging them to try it, I was being selfish, really, not sharing the products and not sharing the opportunity. So once I got over my shyness, and I used to be very shy, but people who know me now are very surprised when I tell them that because I, I think Mary Kay grew me up that I could talk to people and they wouldn't bite me or, or hurt me, <laughs> but they'd be willing to listen. And so um, I believe that that's probably um, – the best part about Mary Kay for me is being a director, having these wonderful women in my unit. And um, secondly, I wanted to see if I could win a car because both of my boys said, I'm sure you can't win a car, mom. That's just not going to happen. And so they both sent me telegrams. It was telegrams in those days. And they said, we knew you could do it, mom. So when I won my first car, um, it was pretty exciting. So we've had eight cars. So that's very exciting. That, that's very exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. That's, Thank you very that's much. a huge accomplishment. Absolutely. It is, really. It's so amazing. <laughs> really. It's absolutely amazing. Um, how else has your life changed since joining the Mary Kay community? Oh, uh, just the friendships. And uh, we recently moved from Charleston, South Carolina to uh, Fairhope, Alabama, because uh, our we have grandchildren here, and we have them in Dothan, and we have one in New York. So, uh it surprised me that I was able to keep a lot of my customers in Charleston and I was able to meet new people here and it's a business you can take with you. So that's a big plus. I had, I didn't have that before. I realized, um, you know, I was in, in Charleston or Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and I loved it there, but we didn't have family there. And so that was a big pull. I told my husband, we need to move while we can still move. <laughs> and he agreed. And, and God was willing to let us go because we uh, actually um, had um, – I was flying to New York. I have a grandbaby there, and I babysit a lot up there. And uh, I asked the Lord to please let us sell our house by the time uh, I came home, which would be five days. And when I got off the plane, the house had sold. <laughs> so, oh, my goodness. So that was a sign. Okay, you're, he wants us to go. <laughs> you know, so. So we really appreciated that so much, you know, so. But, Definitely. Um, that's, that's pretty incredible to have had yeah, your house sold in five years. very incredible. So it was really, Mary Kay is a God-based country. Uh, com- sorry, it is a God-based okay. country. It's a God-based company. And um, Mary Kay says um, you can do it with God, without God, but not against God. But you have to do it with God. And so 
that's the way I work my business. But he's always my partner. I'm sitting in the the co-pilot seat. He's the driver. <laughs> so, and it works that way. So clearly, you have you know you've been greatly impacted by Mary Kay and and the community. What are some of the other benefits of running your own Mary Kay business? Oh, I was asking one of my consultants here, what should I say on the interview? And she said, well, make sure you tell them you can make your own money and you can be your own boss. And I'm like, okay, that's what I will tell. And so that's what she told me to say. And uh, she has, she's a chef. Her name is Samantha Nemi, and she's a chef. And uh, she started Mary Kay. We met at a restaurant. And because I can talk to everybody. I just went over there. And actually, my husband said, you should go talk to her. She looks really sharp. And so, so I did. I went over and talked to her. And she was she was interested. And she has two small children. And they just got back from Disney. And we're able to pay for some of that trip with the, with the money she's made with Mary Gay. So for me to pass it on, that's what Mary Kay asked us to do. And I'm just so thrilled to be able to do that. So... Uh, that's another plus, the people I've met and what I can help them achieve. They do the work. I just coach them. And uh, if they're willing to do the work and let me coach them, they're going to be successful in Mary Kay. So that being said, what does Mary Kay mean to you? I can't imagine my life without it, you know, and um, it, it, it gives me independence. I can, uh, you know, make mad money if I want to, and um, I can enable other women. I think that's my gift that the Lord gave me was that I'm an encourager. I can encourage them to be successful and in whatever level they want to be. They don't have to go for directorship. I always hope they might, but if that's not what they want, they I try to get them to tell me what they want, and then we try to go in that direction definitely um so do you have any advice out there for new consultants who have just started their mary Kay journey of course it's always the same thing never 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 quit just keep going it's 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 kind of strange like one day you might feel like i'm just going to take the starter kit and throw it under the train and then somebody will call do you have mascara and you're back in, you know, so just don't quit. Just keep going. You just don't know what the Lord has in plan for you. And, uh, you know, I just feel like because the Lord is in your business, if you allow him to be, and he will lead you to the people you're supposed to talk to, the people you're supposed to meet. So don't quit. Just keep going. And reach up. Reach up and try to get extra help from people that are up, not the people that are not up. So you want to re reach up and work with uh, positive people. And most of the people in Mary Kay are really positive because we love what we do. So you mentioned never quit. And that, that sounds like, you know, such a simple thing, but it is right. definitely the most important thing of all. Um, what has kept you motivated and working toward your goals throughout your Mary Kay career? Just, I, I would say my unit and my customers, um, you know, if I did not do Mary Kay, where would they get their products? Where would they get their coaching? So I'm an important part of this whole business of Mary Kay, which is your customers and your consultants, if you're a director or, or a, a person in management in Mary Kay. You don't have to be a director, have consultants. You can be a team leader. You can do, be a uh, director in qualification. I have a couple girls that are so excited about the DIQ program that they've changed it a little bit since I did it. And uh, um, it's a little bit easier in some ways to, to become a director now. And if you just keep pushing forward, keep talking to lots and lots of people, because not everybody wants what you have. You have to find the ones that you're meant to, to find. And it takes a while to do that, you know, and, and you just don't want to be discouraged. You want to just keep going. And I think uh, going to the meetings, um, doing the conference calls with your director, those keep you up and about. You need to plug into a lot of things. A lot of my girls are doing a lot of Facebook um, information, and that's another avenue for, 
for young people now because they're so savvy in that. They teach me how to do it. I don't really do it too much, but they know how to do it. And it's it's been it's opened a lot of doors for a lot of my consultants. And you've mentioned, you know, how inspired you were by the God First, Family Second, Career Third philosophy. Right. So how have you managed to balance your family and your career? Oh, um, goodness. <laughs> how do you manage that? Well, I always tell my girls, you don't work uh, your Mary Kay, uh, you don't make Mary Kay your life. You work your life. Mary Kay works around your life, I guess is what I would say. You fit it in, you know, and um, and you make yourself a schedule. And this is, you know, I try to call 10 women a day or text them. Texting is wonderful now because that's fast. And so I just do send them a text or, or call them. My mature customers I call, my young customers I text. And uh, just to tell them, you know, just thinking about you. Uh, it looks like it's been two months since we talked, so do you need anything right now? We have something new. I'm all, we always have something new in Mary Kay. That's pretty exciting for me. You know, uh, some of my girls are like, we're not supposed to change. I said, oh, yeah, you got to change. You know, <laughs> you got to be current. Mary Kay's current. And so um, I would say just keep in touch with your customers and um, and be on the lookout for sharp women to work with and to run with. You know, so I don't know if I answered the question. Yeah, yeah, I, think it was <laughs> I can great. get off a tangent very easily. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're you're fine. You're doing great. Um, <laughs> so, you. other than, of course, always being on the lookout for more women right. to share the opportunity with. Right. Um, what strategies do you have in place to effectively manage your business? Um, I have unit wise. Ta da da da. <laughs> unit wise helps a lot. And uh, I really love it because you can just do your invoice and you can keep up. It, it alerts you to when it's time to call people. So that's been really helpful with me. And um, sorry, my lawnmower man is outside. <laughs> can you hear You're me fine. okay? Yeah, okay. yeah, I can hear you um, perfect. Okay, great. Um, uh, so UnitWise is a big help. Um, doing conference calls with my unit, I really like doing that because most of my unit is still in Charleston, but they do go to other meetings because um, of the adoptee program. is wonderful in Mary Kay. You can move your business and find a good director to take care of your person, you know. So that's so amazing, really. I don't think any other company has that, and I really take advantage of that with my girls. Um I, I, I t always have samples with me, and wherever I go, somebody gets a sample, and I might have a gift card to give them. And I try to book them right there on the spot because I've learned, you know, they, they know me, they see me, but if I let it go too long, they're like, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> you know, so you have yeah. to be have a sense of urgency about that, and I do facials everywhere. Our last one was in the Olive Garden of the bathroom. And <laughs> we did it in three minutes or ten minutes, maybe. Oh, but it was wow. so funny. Wasn't that the waitress was so sweet because she that was her break time and she could go in there and do it. And um, but while we were standing there, three women came in and they asked me for a book. You know, so you just never know. You know, you just want to be prepared for that. Have your books. Have your samples. Have your smile. Have your makeup on. Look the part and wear your pin. I always wear my Mary Kay pin. And um, don't be afraid to talk to people. Just open it up and see what happens. You know, that's. I think once you get over that fear of talking to strangers, a stranger is just someone you haven't met yet. And, you know, that's, she can become a friend. She can become a team member. But you don't want to miss the opportunity by being too shy. You know, so... My friends know when we go to lunch, we're going to talk to the waitress. <laughs> That's just it. So, but I love that. It's fun for me. You know. And it sounds like, you know, just talking to everyone you meet has become a really good networking strategy for you. Yes, it really does work for me. The warm chatter works for me. I'm not shy. 
and you know if they're not smiling i may not talk to them but if they're smiling that's a good plus you want to talk to them you know they and sometimes you just want to give them a sincere compliment like i love how your hair looks or that's a beautiful lipstick and it may not even go into mary Kay. but i think women especially women um need that little boost every day just feel good about themselves and they really appreciate even a stranger's compliment i think they can lift them up and and it makes me feel good to give it so i like that part about it too well i would love to know on you know just a, a fun sort of question are you planning to attend seminar this year oh yes of course i've, I've, got, or I've been planning all along <laughs> so we are, are working on Queen's Quarter sales. I think I'm going to be in the Princess Court for that. We don't think going to make the whole sales part this time, but I always try to do Queen's Quarter sharing, and so we'll be in the sharing court this year. And congratulations, where it's at. Thank you. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> but you know, I'm just uh, proud to have a unit, and uh, proud of the girls that you know. The ones that work it and the ones that don't work it except for themselves, I'm proud of all of them, and I feel blessed to have them. I really do. So that's the good part. So you, you mentioned that you've been preparing for it. What goes into preparing to attend seminar? I think uh, I'm a high-I personality, so for me, I have to strategize. I have to settle down myself down and about six months ago, I started saying, okay, this is what we can do. Where do we want to be at the end of the year, which is coming up in, I think, 11 days or something like that. And uh, I um, I just do the math. A lot of times I'll call Mary Kay and say, this is what I think I need to do. What do you say? And usually they'll say yay or nay, you know, or you need to do more of this or more of that. They're very helpful about doing that. And I try to get my girls. They'll call me with questions, and I'll try to get them to call Mary Kay because there's something neat about, oh, hi, Sharon, how are you doing today? You know, they know you by name because you've had to put in your phone number, and they automatically know you. And I want my girls to feel comfortable to calling Mary Kay because maybe I'll be out of the country or I won't be available. But if they know to call Mary Kay, they'll probably get their answer. Yeah, so, and I, I think that's a great so, strategy, definitely. Yeah, it is. It is. It really helps me a lot because they're the bosses. I mean, I'm the boss of my business, but they're the bosses of the Mary Kay business. So they know, you know, and they're and if they don't know, they're so great about if they don't know, they'll find somebody who does, you know. And, and also the tech people are great, too. Call the tech people because I really need their help a lot. <laughs> Like, I needed yours today. Thank you, Christina, for all of your help with the tech. No, no problem at all. I, I appreciate you joining us, so yeah. I, I don't mind helping whatsoever. Oh, um, great. And you're so cute. You. I want to tell, to tell you that at the beginning. You're really Thank so cute. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Um, you're welcome. I, I wanted to add, oh, I wanted to ask you, um, I know you mentioned earlier that UnitWise helps you in your business, and I was wondering right. if you would expand on, on what features really help you in your um, I'm sorry, my husband was just calling. But just, That's okay. <laughs> he'll probably call back. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, oh, would you no answer worries. that question again? I'm sorry. How, how has it helped me with my business, UnitWise? Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, mainly... Uh, keeping me on track with calling my customers and uh, uh, letting me know um, when it's time to call them and doing my invoices really quickly. I love that part. I haven't, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm just gonna, honey, I'm still on the conference call, okay? All right, sounds great. Okay, thank you, bye. He's so sweet. He's a wonderful Mary Kay husband. <laughs> he says, do you, want, do you want lunch? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Um, of course you want sorry. lunch. Of course I want lunch. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I haven't tried Unit Buzz yet, and I was thinking since I was talking to you today that I really need to get on the board with that because I know it would really help me with my unit. Uh, so that's my next plan as soon as this month is Definitely. over i'm going to probably call you all back and try to do the unit buzz because um, um, i talk about unit wise a lot because it really has helped me all along and 
it makes putting your inventory in easy. It makes putting um, the uh, mostly the customer follow up, uh, which you know you don't have to write down. I need to call this person in two weeks and write it on your calendar. It's going to pop up on your on your computer, and that's just a blessing. So I really thank you know Wise for that. You know it's really been great. And listening to the other directors, I listen to them a lot. And I love the fact that, that we are sharing our thoughts and our ideas and our successes and maybe our non-successes and, you know, what to do next. And that's, that's very helpful. Yeah, so. Well, thank you. We, we always love to hear how we can help. And, and when you go to work on my unit bus, you're more than welcome to give us a call. We can set up a training and, and cover the whole thing. Um, but I, I just want to thank you so much for joining us here today. We are so yeah. grateful. And, and I know all of the women watching are going to benefit from your experience and your expertise. Um, and for everyone watching, thank you for joining us today. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of the upcoming learning opportunities that we have to offer. And have a great day. Thank you. Great. Bye, Christina. I love you. Thanks so much. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.